द न्यूज आर स्पेशल एडिशन गुड इवनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन द फाइट बैक अगेंस्ट कोरोना वायरस इज गोइंग टू टेस्ट आर संयम संकल्प एंड अब ऑल सहयोग The Times Now data projection shows how by staying in the isolation in the lockdown that we are currently undergoing we can unitedly fight the deadly virus. Take a look at these bars. If we map the day on day rate of infection escalations in India as per what we have seen in Italy then starting from the 6th day since breaching the 500 mark india's numbers by the end of march 28 were 1040 if this trend continues then by mid april we will have over 24000 cases and over 66000 cases by the end of april ladies and gentlemen that is the kind of growth we saw in italy However what we must remember is that India closed its border long time back and has been in lockdown for the last 5 days the effects of this have already started reflecting look at the worldwide trends closely of the hike in the number of cases detected with within the last 10 days the curve of india has been much lower than that of china usa or italy if the official health ministry data is accurate then the indian government may have slowed down the corona wave with timely preemptive action now it's up to us to ensure whether we do our bit or not and those numbers you can see the india number if we do not observe the lockdown in the manner that we have our numbers which were close to south africa till yes in fact south korea till yesterday would now escalate to the italy level ladies and gentlemen and we all know the story of italy we have several problems there are hardships there are many issues that are unresolved but biggest above all of this is going to be the sahyog the sankal and the sanyam we will have to find ways to fight all the problems that we have but we cannot allow our numbers to go up in the manner they have begun to show the rate if we do not continue the lockdown and that is 66000 infected by corona virus by the 28th of april which will be bad news for india and that is the big debate on whether we get sidestepped by these issues or whether we are going to continue with our lockdown the prime minister in fact has come out and stated he has apologized that there is a problem that migrant labor is working but <coughs> but do we abandon our lockdown just because this is one reason that is worrying us take a listen in to the prime minister मैं सभी देशवासियों से क्षमा मांगता हूं और मेरी आत्मा कहती है कि आप मुझे जरूर क्षमा करेंगे क्योंकि कुछ ऐसे निर्णय लेने पड़े हैं जिसकी वजह से आपको कई तरह की कठिनाइयां उठानी पड़ रही हैं खास करके मेरे गरीब भाई बहनों को देखता हूं तो जरूर लगता है कि उनको लगता होगा कि ऐसा कैसा प्रधानमंत्री है हमें इस मुसीबत में डाल दिया लेकिन भारत जैसे 130 करोड़ की आबादी वाले देश को कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई के लिए ये कदम उठाए बिना कोई रास्ता नहीं था ये लॉकडाउन आपके खुद के बचने के लिए है आपको अपने को बचाना है अपने परिवार को बचाना है अभी आपको आने वाले कई दिनों तक इसी तरह धैर्य दिखाना ही है लक्ष्मण रेखा का पालन करना ही है साथियों मैं ये भी जानता हूं कि कोई कानून नहीं तोड़ना चाहता नियम नहीं तोड़ना चाहता लेकिन कुछ लोग ऐसा कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अब भी वो स्थिति की गंभीरता को नहीं समझ रहे ऐसे लोगों को यही कहूंगा कि लॉकडाउन का नियम तोड़ेंगे तो कोरोना वायरस से बचना मुश्किल हो जाएगा दुनिया भर में बहुत से लोगों को कुछ इसी तरह की खुशफहमी थी आज 
ये सब पछता रहे हैं नियम तोड़ने वाले अपने जीवन के साथ बहुत बड़ा खिलवाड़ कर रहे हैं and that's the big question will we follow this or will we abandon this route because of the pressures and because of the problems that are coming in our way that's the question and the big debate corona ko harayenge that's the debate and joining me tonight dr sambit patra national spokesperson of the bjp dr anand ranganathan author and scientist sabha nakvi senior journalist ashutosh political analyst and also joining us in a little while will be ajay kumar spokesperson of the aam aadmi party and former ips uh, officer let me ask you dr anand ranganathan dr anand ranganathan we've picked up studies and we've picked up the studies that india has uh, you know shown in in terms of the rise in the graph as far as the lockdown is concerned we managed to keep our numbers closer to the south korean experience but if we do not follow the lockdown then we could be going the italy way do you do you think we have an option at this moment uh, to ease the lockdown not to look at the devastation that this can actually cause Yeah, good evening Navika. Thanks very much for having me. Lockdown is absolutely important and we are all for it. You know, I had said a couple of days ago on your show in fact that a united army, a well-fed army, a protected army gladly marches beyond its cantering general to lead from the front. But sadly the events of yesterday and today have proved me wrong. UP and Delhi are trading charges like they are kids in a school playground. even as millions of migrants collect in tightly packed groups and await transport to take them home delhi has navika the largest net in migration amongst all states four times more than maharashtra it would be catastrophic if this reverse migration continues not only for the health and safety of the migrants either waiting in thousands for buses or walking hundreds of miles on a hungry stomach but also for the success of the lockdown that is supposed to prevent the epidemic spread and news reports uh, reports today say that kerala is facing a similar situation with thousands of bengal and chatisgarh migrants waiting to leave look at the way on the other hand telangana is handling the situation town planners police administration builders all working in concert and here there are allegations that delhi cut off the water and electricity of migrants and boarded them onto hundreds of buses and dumped them at the border fighting amongst ourselves is not how one fights a war especially the one has prime minister has declared to be sure in my opinion our death rate is low and we still have time at hand to be able to relax this lockdown for a couple of days to allow the migrant population to settle where they want only then can the real lockdown begin in earnest this is the biggest lockdown in human history i support it we support it but let us not ruin it through incompetence and maladministration so sabha nakvi sabha nakvi i want to ask you you know many people have been quick to point fingers that the lockdown uh, is uh, something that was uh, like a knee jerk reaction and uh, the government the administration wasn't prepared uh, uh, to handle this kind of a migrant exodus uh, at this moment so i want to ask you yes this is a problem but is there a choice between blaming the government and saying the lockdown is a failure or following the lockdown and finding solutions parallelly maybe sometimes taking the tough route of having migrants stay put where they are with some shelters and food provided to them but prevent this mass exodus <coughs> so navika everybody wants to observe the lockdown uh, the people who are on the roads because i was on the roads of delhi yesterday i can describe there's an article now which has come out in times of india there i will tell you why people are leaving because their landlords are throwing them out because most of the migrants who are here let me give you an example there is a uh, in my area in chatrapur there are a lot of people who stone cutters overnight those industries have shut down and they have been asked to leave without their wages so where how are they going to go they live four rooms to a men the rent is 3000 rupees a month they have to go home because they say fasal aa rahi hai the harvest crop is coming in april so they have literally stood there they get food they get sort of relief measures like food on the way but they want to go to their villages then you read nizamuddin bridge and i mean it's just the sea of people going on and on and on it's always a similar story the unorganized sector it just shut down 
told them to go. They couldn't pay their rent, they couldn't buy food. There is a lot of dignity in these. These are the working class of India, the really destitute, who are in poor health. They would not even dream of walking. Now the journey I'm describing to you is 47 kilometers from the border of Gurgaon when they enter and they reach Anand Vihar. The road journey is 47 kilometers. Now, my we all want to, we, nobody wants a political, we all want to be part of this extremely uh, huge crisis that is confronting our nation. But India's poor do not have a social net. They don't have, they earn and they eat. So the government should have made a plan either to allow them to move. I'm not a scientific person, I'm not a doctor, but I'm a journalist and I have seen with my own eyes what the kind of horror that is unfolding and there is no social distancing here. More people have entered and they are walking from my road, please come out and see, they are walking out into and, and it becomes larger and larger when you read Ashram and it becomes larger and larger when you need Nizamuddin Bridge. It's just going on and on. That was the situation yesterday. That's so now what do we do? It's a human, it's a humanitarian crisis that is staring us in the face. And those many of the people and the shelters are completely packed. They are completely so packed. That's, there that's are very true. And at the, at the moment, packed. Delhi How probably do do? is not the only area where we are seeing this. The Kerala model, which was being lauded, is seeing a similar problem. Yeah. There, are, there are migrant workers from UP and Bihar, even Absolutely. in Kerala, who are out on the streets. So, Dr. Ajay Kumar. It's happening Kumar, in Bengal also. Uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, uh, you, you are from the Aam Aadmi Party. I, I, have, I want to ask you. Uh, what do you think and, and is there a consensus between the Delhi government and the central government on how to resolve this humanitarian crisis at this point? Uh, is it uh, arranging transport to, uh, transport to send them home or is it keeping them where they are? How do we maintain social distancing? Because we are on the cusp of going uh, from the South Korea uh, growth rate to the exponential growth rate of Italy. And we, and we need to come up with a plan sooner than later. In fact, it should have come up probably yesterday or day before. So, Navika, uh, I heard uh, Sambit, uh, Dr. Sambit Patra say that uh, electricity and water have been cut. And, uh, no, I'm not even I just want to say it. Uh, uh, Sambit Patra hasn't I've spoken never, yet. That was, that was uh, Sabah Nakvi who was making the point. No, no, before that, uh, I thought I heard uh, Sambit speak. No, no, that was no, the, uh, Dr. That. Anand Ranganathan. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, apologies, Sambit. And uh, uh, so, uh, I don't think yes, the water, and, uh, water and electricity anywhere has been cut. And we've been saying that uh, right from the beginning, that if anybody's got any information on that, we would we would take immediate corrective action. But, but information? But Navika, if you look at it, that... Uh, what information do you need, Dr. Ajay Kumar? Uh, Anand Vihar bus station, uh, uh, you know, all people near the Delhi-Noida border, the uh, Delhi-Noida bridge is full of these people. You can see these uh, people along the ring road, uh, uh, you know, which comes uh, from uh, uh, West Delhi right up to South Delhi. They are on the roads, uh, even in defense colony uh, uh, side on the ring road. What, what uh, alert do you so, need from so who? Me, so, no, no. So let me put it this way that the government of Delhi, we've, we have created as many community kitchens which is necessary in terms of food and arrangements for the people of Delhi, whether it's migrant or not. But if you announce that you're going to put 1,000 buses on the border, and it, it can happen in any state. So in Delhi, we have tried our best to, in terms of getting increasing ration, providing community kitchens, opening schools for staying. So it's not the issue of staying anymore. It's the issue of people say, saying that we don't want to, we have no money left. We need to move out and and we are trying our best to keep them there. We had MLAs on the borders. We had people going on the borders and explaining. But whether if Delhi government puts, puts buses on the border of Haryana or any other state government puts and says, listen, we are ready to transport you, then which state government is able to handle it? And and like South Africa, what happened in South that Africa? That was a reaction two or three days period to the of lacks of migrants who collect no, towards the border. One, sec, one second, I, I, I'll just complete. It's not, to blame, the it's not to find fault, so I'll just complete. Yeah, so yeah, the I'm question again, Navika, is every state government, whatever is possible, we have, we have made sure 4 lakh people get food every, every day. We have been announcing it, please don't move. 
how if the chief minister of uttar pradesh wants to do something couldn't he have given us a phone call and wasn't it proper for the government of india to sit with all the chief ministers and say that the stories people are trying you know i mean like uh, mr anand raghunathan uh, and i feel very unfortunate that such wide allegations are made the there is In so it all bread, boils down. You read all the boils down. down. To I know you don't. Are we party. talking we about reading stuff? Here, Doctor Shambhu Patra. I'm Shambhi quoting Patra. Indian Express report. Are we risking the lives in India again, because again, we have a again, turf war? The because the centre is not speaking to the states. The states all say they have a phone call. Is that. it? Is it all going to boil down to just this? Navika, please don't break. If only Mr. Ajay Kumar allows me to speak because I want to have a slug fest with him. Advocate India, advocate Bharat. What did you do? Why did you stop the railway lines, my friend? Why couldn't you make sure that everybody? Why doesn't the government? Oh God, Anand Ganganathan is not the railway minister. So we are not making Please. delegation. Again, work for India. All of okay. us are working for India. Are you the only guy who is working for India? Respond, Doctor Shambhu Patel. Please stop this nonsense. I mean, work please for start, India. Please everybody be united. Start, start working for India. Start working for India. Sir, let me let me reiterate. Let me reiterate the point that it is important for all of us to be on the same page. Doctor Ajay Kumar. Doctor Ajay Kumar. Let me ask you this question. Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival has done several press conferences and he has said isolation is important. Do you still agree? Are you in consensus with the Prime Minister that the lockdown is important or not? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. This. So, okay. So, if the lockdown is important, Doctor Sambit Patra, what is the way to smoothen the smoothen the creases that are coming up between the centre and the states to resolve this problem, which is? the biggest the biggest failure of the lockdown because those are the numbers and there is no social distancing and it's happening right in the middle of the capital now you can give me some time because i believe these are not times when we should have a slugfest match on any debates we should not have a tutu mamen because people are in fact uh, listening to all of this very attentively number 1 as far as lockdown is concerned everyone in this panel would agree as would otherwise also that there was no other option the only option was lockdown and thankfully prime minister narendra modi took this decision at the right time we have seen as to what is happening in italy in spain and even in us thankfully india as yet appears to contain its number and if we follow these rules what have been laid down i believe india would fight against corona successfully number 2 well yes these are disturbing scenes the scenes that you have been showing in anand vihar or in yamuna na expressway these are of course disturbing scenes but let me as not only a doctor but certain data which has come out which mr anand ranganathan would also agree the r not data which at the expense of uh, reputation i would still repeat because these are important issues remember even if as far as lockdown is concerned if a single covid patient is there without any lockdown this patient single patient could infect approximately 2 to 3 patients in 5 days and approximately 406 406 patients Correct. in one month and if the same patient covid patient is kept in a 50 percentage lockdown situation this patient will affect only approximately 1 to 1.25 people that means 1 to 2 people in 5 days and only 15 people in a month and if the country has 75 percentage lockdown the same patient will infect less than one person in 5 days maybe no one in 5 days and only about two people in one month so the importance of 50 percentage lockdown no lockdown and 75 percentage lockdown is understood so the kind of scenes that we are seeing would i i would say this is not a havoc on india of course these are very sympathetic scenes we all have to sympathetically feel for the poor and the needy but to say that the lockdown is collapsing would be wrong number 2 when well, yes there has to be some kind of coordination between the state government and the central government astonishingly i don't want to politicize any of these but you would agree that these kind of scenes have come mostly from delhi the question is why i don't want to go into a slug fest and abuse any political party but the indian express today has come up with some reports and the report says that the delhi government could have dealt with this kind of situation with a better hand lights being cut electricity supply being shut people being asked to go off because there was a misinformation spread by many in the delhi government it seems as per this report that this lockdown is going to be for 3 months not for 21 days they said it is going to be 3 months tum apne ghar chale jao humne dtc bus lagaye hain and and i don't i don't Navika. want to abuse anyone allege anyone navika 
But I was astonished. My friend, my good friend, Mr. Ajay, I was astonished when one of your spokespersons, Amadmi Party spokespersons, in fact, shared a misinformation and a fake news yesterday. He was saying that Mr. Yogi Adityanath is standing in the borders with a danda in his hand, and he is, in fact, literally Namika. hitting everyone out, whoever is coming, and saying that, go out, go out from Uttar Pradesh. Nahi to agar tum Delhi mein kaam karoge, to hum tumhe Uttar Pradesh mein ghusne nahi denge. Why? We are all responsible Dr. Ajay Kumar, Kumar, I want to ask you, I want to ask you this. You know, to, to keep putting the blame from one doorstep to the other, is it really going to help any state, any citizen of India? That, that is the pertinent point. So, so Navika, first question is, uh, no, no debate on that. No put blame for, uh, no finding faults. I'm saying that on a national TV, if my political colleagues uh, uh, have make statements which keep only aggravating the situation, the Delhi government's position is clear. The chief minister, the Delhi government, we have repeatedly said that everybody should, nobody should move to their house. We will provide you all food and facility. Now there would be there would be certain mischief makers and people who have disconnected power and and do the individuals who have done mistakes. But we have said it repeatedly in our, and we and and we want to make sure that nobody moves out. But the but the question that whether it is Mr. Rangaratnam or Sambit or all my colleagues on this channel is how do you how do you prevent and and how how do you prevent if you are saying that there's thousand buses at the border. How do you prevent it when people are coming? And, and all of India is happening. Maybe in Delhi, little more you are saying. But it is happening in Orissa. It is happening in Haryana. No, no, no. It is happening in Maharashtra. No, Sampath, I am just saying. Could we, could and we Kerala. run trains? That, that's Kerala. the point. So and Ashutosh, Ashutosh, what is before we announce? Ashutosh, my because friend, I want to ask you, while Delhi, everybody Delhi. is rhetorically saying that we should not blame any political party at this point in time, but everyone is ending up doing the same thing. I want to ask you, in the face of the numbers that we are seeing, so far we are going the South Korea way. If we change our track and do not follow the lockdown with the seriousness that we have, we are in the danger of going the Italy way. In such a scenario, are we only going to point fingers or are we going to look at solutions? Because even the Kerala model, which was supposed to be the most successful model at the moment is floundering. I think I will be because uh, what I'm going to say, it's going to pinch to Ahmadi Party government as well as the BJP. I think let's uh, stop uh, celebrating the incompetence of the government. And I'm talking about the Delhi government, but also the Yogi government and the Modi government also, all three. Uh, how can it be possible in front of the all channels, uh, 48 hours, everybody had sought how these... And nobody took any... The Prime Minister should have put, should have picked up the phone and scolded Arvind Kejriwal and Yogi Adityanath to find out the solutions. Arvind Kejriwal should have spoken to Yogi Adityanath and should have found the solutions. But 48 hours, no action was taken and finally it became the catastrophic. The point Absolutely number two, we correct. all are talking about the lockdown. The only solution, no, no. 18th of January, 18th of January, the uh, the travelers were started by the as, I'm not the able cabinet to secretary in its note. It took two months. It took two months to ban the export of ventilators and the mask. 19th March, and that was not complete. Oh. On 24th March, again, the governments come out with that notification that they are they are finally banning it. And on 26 March, the government of India is placing an order for 1,200 ventilators. Can you imagine something like situation like this? We why we could thing in the month of January when we realized that the corona is at our doorstep. We did not do that. So I have, I have, I have, I have appreciated and praised and I am fully in support of Mr. Prime Minister for, for taking such a huge, which must be a very tough decision for him. But why his government did not take action two months back? When the Korea, Korea realized that the corona is there, they immediately contacted all the medical companies and they placed orders for the bulk production of the test 
kits and that is why they could do 3 lakh kits uh, testings where we had done how much 30000 a population of 132 well, crores well, and we have well, done only the question is the and question is Gaga is finger pointing going to find us a solution Korea. as a country of 1.3 billion or do we have learnings that need to be implemented far too soon Dr. Shambit Patra, doc, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, I'll come back to you, but we need to take a short break. Right after the break, we'll look at what we could have done better and what we need to do now at crackling speed so that our graphs are in the control of the Indian citizen. The News Hour Special Edition. Welcome back, dear viewers, and uh, we're looking at a situation where so far the gra graph of cases uh, with coronavirus infections that are uh, really coming up in India are currently at the South Korea rate, which is a rate that is manageable given the infrastructure of health that India has. And it is the bottom green line that we are looking at, which is the India rate projected at this point in time. And if we were to lose our grip on the lockdown that has been in place over the last four days, today is day five. Look at the way this could exponentially grow. And that gives us the model that Italy has been showing so far. And this shows us that by 28th of April, we would have over 66,000 people in India infected by the coronavirus. So ladies and gentlemen, the warning is out there. If we don't control it now, that's the route we are do going to go. And if we are able to control it, India will probably be able to manage the situation much better than countries like Spain, Italy, Iran, and even the United States of America. So let me get back uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan on this. Dr. Anand Ranganathan, yes, there have been a few problems. Whether you talk about the Delhi government, you can talk about the Haryana government, you can talk about the UP government, you can talk about the center, you can talk about Kerala, any state. You know, we are dealing with a situation which has no former history. We are dealing with a crisis where there are no learnings from a previous experience, in which case, somewhere we are learning along the way as we go. In such a situation, uh, Anand Ranganathan, I want to ask you, are we only going to see political parties passing the buck or are we going to realize the importance of coming together and maintaining the complete sanctity of the lockdown that has been imposed? Uh, yeah, Navika, there are two points here. I think, first of all, I think all the panelists have made very valuable points, including Ashutosh as well, and his point is duly taken. Uh, but I think the most pertinent point has been made by uh, Saba. You know, the last thing we should do is to be judgmental about the people who want to go home. And this is where I mean that, of course, lockdown is important. But also, if you remember, why is this reverse migration not happening in Maharashtra right now? Because before the lockdown was declared, lakhs and lakhs of migrants from Maharashtra already moved to their homes. So that's what I mean. You know, we are panicking, thinking that this lockdown cannot be relaxed for a couple of days to allow people to do what they want to do to reach their homes. And then the lockdown can begin. Because ultimately, as your figures also show, I think we have to take this with a huge pinch of salt. Because in my opinion, I think there are millions of Indians who are already infected. In fact, there are a lot of scientific models, Navika. Just day before yesterday, an Oxford study has said that 68% of the UK population by 19th March has already been infected with Corona. What that means is that death rate is not 5%, but actually 0.1%, which is close to what the seasonal flu death rate is. So I think the similar case yeah. would also be with India. That is why we absolutely must have the antibody test, because what that would show is maybe millions of Indians had contracted corona, were infected with it, and already got cured with it. So we would have the antibody, Fair but point. not the Dr. disease. Sambit Patra, and if that is the case, Dr. that Sambit millions Patra, of Indians have already uh, had know, corona. So people have the raised, people have raised important issues. Right Number one, so we wouldn't you know, you've, you've given a notification saying that all employers should continue to pay uh, their uh, contract labor or even uh, non-permanent labor, uh, the salaries that they should over the next two or three months, whatever the date may be. 
but Dr. Sambit Patra, in reality, that's an order on paper. It's not being implemented on the ground. And if you ask some of these construction thekedars who bring this labor, you talk to people in uh, small industries, even restaurants where these uh, labor come in, all of them actually say, we have no earnings. How do we pay these people? It's a noble thought. It's a good moral thought. But you can only pay when you have something to give. So I want to, I want to ask you, we need to resolve this problem and resolve this soon, number one. And number two, if these people have to be taken home, then they have to be taken home because in, in the cities, they can't probably pay at the rate that they uh, are required to pay or feed themselves. And there is a genuine problem that these uh, poor migrant labor have. And now the Ministry of Home Affairs has come up with a notification which says, uh, all of them will not be allowed to go home. They will be put up in uh, detention centers and uh, detention? checks will be carried out. Not detention centers or at least isolation centers, uh, uh, you know, so that health checks could be carried out. You know, the uncertainty for these poor people is also something that might spread panic. <clears throat> Navika, give me some time because these are very important questions which I believe should okay. be answered thoroughly because otherwise it will spread panic. Number one, See, as far as lockdown and the people who are saying that the governments were not prepared for the lockdown, let me tell, these are situations almost akin to a war. So you cannot have a rehearsal of a lockdown. These are situations which have never come up before in the history of the world. Leave aside India. To say to so to say that we should have been better prepared is something which I firmly believe was not possible, number one. Number two, looking at the mammothness of this whole program, looking at at the scale of our country, the population density, I still feel that what India has done is something which even some of the best countries of the world, some of the most developed countries of the world like US and London have not been able to achieve. Number three, look, th there are certain times in a nation when there have to be few experts and the rest have to be followers, you know. The problem with us is many of us who come on the television channels or are active in the social media, many of us act as experts, including Raghuram Rajan and others who are economists, they try to be health personnel. The health personnel try to be economist. And the problem is, I'm, I'm in just one saying that is very famous in medical jargon. The saying is, it is better to have a living problem than a dead one. If we all are dead, then tomorrow's economy does not matter to us. We first have to be living to care about the economy tomorrow. Thirdly, just a second. Can Thirdly, I, can I can your question, as far as may as far I, as your question, uh, uh, just a second, uh, Sabha. As far as your question, Navika, that uh, 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 these people would be sent to isolation camps. Should not they be allowed to the villages? Number one, it's when the emergency situation fell upon the uh, shoulders of Yogi Adityanath. Just imagine, thousand buses were arranged overnight, and they were shifted to their villages. But let me tell you the peril of this. The peril of this is. I mean, this is going to break barriers for the disease. This is going to take the disease to the heart of where India lives. That is the village. And if the villages are infected, God forbid, that is going to be a time bomb which would blast. And lastly, to what Mr. Asupor said, with all due respect, as far as resources is concerned, let me just add to say, all these resourceful countries like Italy, Spain, London, US, Everything is falling apart, despite the fact that they may have more ventilators than India. It is not ventilators which is going to save us, because this disease does not have a cure. Prevention is the cure, T-H-E-D. Prevention is the only cure. No one can get cured. And can for I, God's sake, Anand, whom I like a great deal, because he's an erudite speaker, he's a scientist, I, to say that the mortality can, rate is very less, only 0.001 percentage, so we should not worry about death. Please, these are all good when we speak in front of Can camera, but just ask, ask anyone else. I mean, to say that it is no, not... No, nobody, nobody is minimizing, uh, nobody is minimizing no. the problem, but both Dr. Ajay Kumar and Sabha no. Nakhvi want to come in. Sabha Nakhvi to you word. first. Can I... Uh, Nav Navika, I just want to pick up one point that Anand Ranganathan made, uh, that because even I have been watching the CNN briefings of the governor of New York, he also says, and Anand is a scientist, I'm not, that between 40 to 80 percent of people in New York will be, uh, will be infected. Their aim is to see it doesn't happen simultaneously because then the system will be overwhelmed. What? And we know what New York is going through right now. My point is we are saying lockdown, but right now there is no lockdown on the border to Delhi and all over. So we must also understand that there is a real possibility in India that people can die of hunger also and starvation no, no, and no, other reasons, other illnesses that come to the fore. 
when you face hunger and starvation. Please let me finish some bit. I mean, you know, it's very, very please, disturbing please. to see Indian, our whole economy. We all want to support everyone. We all, this is not a moment for political brownie points, but I'm just making, I'm a human being. I've been there and seen people in desperation. Allow me to say this, that there is, we are not, uh, we don't have that basic, uh, now they're going back to the villages, presuming once they're after isolation, the crop will come. They look at the pressure on rural India. So we all have to be together. Nobody is making any points. Let's be scientific about it. Let's also see on balance what we can do. If we have made mistakes, let's correct them. You know, and the Indians who are, I mean, look at the bravery of those people who have said, hum gaon chal ke jayenge. You know, that requires courage, <coughs> you know, to uh, say that, Dr. okay. Dr. Ajay hum, Kumar, uh, Dr. Dr. Ajay Kumar I think hand, everybody on this you know? panel is unanimous on one issue, which is that this is not the time to score brownie points. This is the time to say that if we've made Absolutely. mistakes, then we mm. need to correct it, but we need to correct it ASAP. We don't have time, the luxury of time, to correct our mistakes. So in, in this manner, uh, what can we expect from the Ahmadmi Party government and the central government to resolve this issue, which is on the border of many exits of Delhi to the neighboring states? Look, uh, I, I tend to agree with what uh, Dr. Rangaratan has said is, it's for the, all the states along with the prime minister to look at which are the pockets in which people are wanting to move. Because this issue will come. There will be people from, from my home state of Jharkhand, there are people in Delhi, locked up and wanting to move irrespective of... It. And it's not only a money issue. It's a lot of times it is a money issue, but the other issue is you're working alone, you want to get back to your village, you want to be with your family. Absolutely, it's an no, emotional issue as well. It. Many no, people would want to no, be with their no, family no, when no, they no, don't no, know absolutely. when they are no, probably no, going no. to uh, be no, the no, unlucky no, ones no, to be infected. No, and Avika, there are around 36, uh, if my numbers are correct, there are around 36 crore people who are migrating. Now, if you look at those numbers, you have the choice to deal with it. it in an organized way, with governments being sensible, doing it to pocket-wise people from Kerala moving in trains with adequate distance. Or you're saying that, listen, we don't, care a, we don't care a damn for these people's pain. If we do that, you're going to go into a situation which will be beyond repair. So all governments with the central government have to see that if there yeah. is a mobilization, how do I do it? Do I communicate? Do I do shelter camps? Those who want to move, we should identify. So there's... And those are things with the government of India, with the state governments have Absolutely. to work. People and from Orissa who are working in Bihar. That's an important people point, are, uh, which is that, you know, when you go to a war, when you go for move. war, only a fool will say that I will persist with the strategy that I had initially. You know, a war is an involving situation. There is no harm in accepting that, yes, mm. I was probably not right or I didn't foresee this. Let me change the strategy. And, you know, uh, 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 nation would be grateful for that. So are we, are we, are we in a desperate Navika, need to can change I speak? the strategy, uh, Ashutosh? And what is the strategy, you know, because uh, you, everybody is coming Navika. up with their own model of solutions. No, no. No, 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 I do not agree with that. even one point. I think the government has, uh, the, the lock is a good solution. The pro coordination between the center and the state and between the states. Arvind Kejriwal has been saying they have been providing the kitchen here and there. If there was kitchen provided, then the people are leaving their homes. Right? There is no crackdown on those land out these, these tenants were living a ten in a, in a, in a, in a, in a small room. Uh, why the factory owners are throwing their, these workers? The, the government has to on these people also who are inhuman and who are not treating their, uh, their, their workers who have been working last so many years so these ungrateful people also needed to needed to be as many were acceptable if they could pay for a uh, for, for two months or three months their salary they're they not going to be proper so the government cannot throw their they're, they're being irresponsible and saying the people to be to be blamed for that i i fail to understand that 48 hours arvind kejriwal and yogi adityanath could not talk to each other to find a solution instead what is happening the up government is blaming delhi government the delhi government is blame, blaming up government or who is the sufferer sufferer are the people the I millions suppose, of the people uh, the, and but, because but, of but the but congregation yogi adityanath right now, is at the uh, border with the, uh, you know, with Noida, and and it is, and uh, you know, he's standing there getting health checks done. He's getting a food package. You know, 
you know, I don't think there is a black and white in this. Is there, Dr. Sambit Patra? They have. The first and foremost, first and no, foremost, Navika let me allay the fears. Navika, just, Navika, just, Navika, just, just a second. Anand, 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 let me complete, say, Anand, let me complete the, a few the sentences. It's not only with the Delhi government. The problem is not only with, oh, with the Yes, I'll get, I'll get uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar to answer your question on the Delhi the government. government, but in, I'm uh, getting it, Dr. Sambit Patra, also yeah. to ask him the question, why can't Yogi Adityanath and Dr. and Mr. Arvind Kejival be on the phone line and resolve this issue? So they must have talked. Just to sit here in the debate and to say that they have not talked, they're not trying to resolve the issue would be injustice towards both the chief ministers. I mean, such a mammoth task, it must be a coordination between both the states. Let's not assume that the states are not coordinating, number one. Number two, I mean, let me first allay the fears that if we have some, I mean, of course, this is a very ghastly scene. I am really picture. moved by the scene when you see poor people uh, on the borders. I mean, this is really bad. But let's, let us let me allay the fears that if we have some uh, 5,000 people or 6,000 people somewhere in some border, the lockdown has failed. No. Let's just allay this fear. We have to work out for the solution to see to our brothers and sisters who are stranded anywhere in this country, they get their due. And of course, all those people who are leading to this misery have to be taken task to. I mean, they have to be taken to the task. But remember, it's about misinformation also. Many misinformation has been spread that this lockdown is going to stay for three <laughs> long months. And that's the reason as to why you should go to your village. Delhi is going to be struck very badly. So you are safe in your village. So such kind of thing has been spread. So all this misinformation also has to be done away with, number two. Number three, let me also tell you one thing. See, as far as uh, uh, all of us are concerned, we have to be very responsible. Please, for God's sake, look at Italy. I mean, thousand people dying each day. So to say that this mortality is less, to say that lockdown is of not much importance, is something which is absolutely responsible. The only way is lockdown. Nothing else works. The Prime Minister today in Monkey Bath itself said that, I'm so sorry, I did not want to have this lockdown. It's quite paining to put you through all this. But there is no other way out. If there is any other way out, please let us know. And if we don't have any other way out, it's better to be the followers than to be pseudo-experts. Dr. Ajay Kumar, it's a fair point. The fair point is, at a time like this, when India is facing a crisis of this kind, are we going to stand on ceremony on who calls whom? Can we not today... Uh, not at all. Uh, can we not today not drop all. this? I, I, and, and uh, you know, if you, feel, if you feel that the BJP chief ministers haven't called you, can't Arvind Kejriwal call them? After all, whoever is suffering is the citizen of India. And all political parties and people in public life owe something to these citizens of India who voted them to power. And I want to ask you this basic no, question. So, absolutely, uh, Navika, I mean, uh, our government has been reaching out. And we, look, it's not that the, the, there is no communication between the government, like Sambat correctly said. And... Ashutosh has been saying the lockdown, there is no other solution for lockdown, there is no debate on that. But you must pick up what Dr. Ranganathan has said on a point. That if there is a group of people, it may be very small in number, 6,000 out of 130 crores is a small number, maybe 20,000, maybe 30,000. Maybe, uh, maybe a lakh across India or two lakhs across India. But unless we address those issues, one is communication, Dr. Patra correctly said, we need to continue to see all political leaders who is communicating, this is going to be a three month, whoever is doing the mischief needs to be prosecuted. But to believe that you can in Delhi catch the person who is throwing out the workers, Ashtosh Jaji, that is a bit of a, because the government is already stretched. And we have this misconception about the Indian state's capacity across India, like, uh, like uh, uh, quarantine centers. Will you be able to keep lakhs of people in a quarantine center? So the only way out is to is to implement lockdown at the same time see what are the pockets in which the movement is desperate, the people are not ready to listen and then take a call. Maybe a movement of trains, maybe non-movement, but those, are, those can only happen when you have continuous dialogue during the lockdown because this may be in a small pocket. This may be in 10 so we come back. So we come dollars. back to the basic issue which is, can I, ladies and gentlemen, can? The lockdown is the most important weapon that we have in our hands at this point. 
there may be problems that keep cropping up there may be administrative issues there may be issues of uh, the unorganized sector their salaries their pays which may not work according to the uh, orders that have been given by the government but the fact of the matter is awareness and a commitment which is why i started the news hour tonight by saying that it is sanyam and it is sankalp and it is sahyog only these three virtues that are going to see us through the challenging times that we are facing and which could worsen if we don't continue to harden our sankalp and our sahyog and that ladies and gentlemen will mean the difference between the rate of growth of south korea and the rate of growth of italy which india is not just geared up for which is why we must come back today and once again pledge that we will follow this quarantine this lockdown in the letter and spirit in which it has been called out by the prime minister by every state's chief minister because this is the only way we can prevent it because there is no cure and health infrastructure has its own limits and that's all ladies and gentlemen because if we follow that mantra we can at least cross our fingers and hope that this catastrophe will treat us slightly better than it has treated several other developed countries like the united states of america the united kingdom italy germany iran and france thank you for joining me ladies and gentlemen good night from me india up front on the other side the news are special edition